Welcome to Xi'an, the starting point of the ancient Silk Road, a city steeped in history and culture. And as we head towards this new modern era, Xi'an's technology and innovation and infrastructure is advancing at an astonishing rate. Welcome to Xi'an Metro. Now, I know before I was talking about Xi'an steeped in history, but now we are being transported forward in time into the future. Just take a look at this metro station. I mean, my, my own country in the UK, they don't have this. In Western countries, they don't have this. In Germany, in France, in the US, it's uncomparable. Look at this, just look at this. It's straight out of a science fiction movie. And that's not just this station. It's many, 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 many stations on this metro system uh, that look just like they're from the future, straight out of a science fiction movie. Xi'an Metro currently has nine lines in operation with 212 stations. And of course there are more lines on the construction and plan to start operation this year and in 2025. China don't mess about. Of course the small lines opening. China gets things done. Not like the West. Talk, 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 talk. Nothing gets done. And you're not going to believe this right a ticket will set you back from around two rmb ranging up to around 10 rmb depending on how far you go compared to the west you would not even be able to buy a ticket for that price you're looking at at least around 70 rmb 70 rmb uncomparable uncomparable now at the bell tower station here on line two where during the construction uh, of this line they discovered an ancient well from the yuan dynasty and qin dynasty i can't believe that there's just so many relics and ancient artifacts scattered throughout xi'an and xi'an xi province that they're finding things like this meanwhile what did they discover in america Yo. Yo. We are now heading into uh, the wall through the Yongningmen. Uh, I'm on this absolutely magnificent drawbridge that looks down upon the uh, the moat there. Um, so let's head inside and get up on the walls. Now, some of you guys may remember when I last came up onto the walls before, I had a, uh, let's say, um, a slight incident, so to speak. <laughs> Lots of tourists from all over the world here. Huh. <laughs> Every time when I come to Xi'an, the weather is just perfect. Look at this, look at this sun. I feel like I'm in, I'm in the Maldives. Look at that intense sun. It's beautiful. The Xi'an city walls built in 1370 during the Ming Dynasty represent one of the oldest, largest and best preserved Chinese city walls. It was built under the rule of Hongwu Emperor Zhu Yanjiang as a military defense system. The magnificent walls stand at 12 meters tall. Can you just imagine trying to scale these walls um, and trying to get up there and penetrate into Xi'an's impenetrable fortress here. Can you imagine that? Just look at the size of that thing, that is insane. We are now inside the uh, Xi'an city wall data center. I'm getting exclusive access for you guys because you know, I'm, I'm handbar one, I can get in anywhere, right? And so what this special uh, data center does, it monitors in real time the uh, all the kind of activity that is going on around the the wall and this entire area it monitors like uh, the security the volume of people uh, entering into this area the the water levels and uh, all kinds of things this is all in real time it's an entire 3d rendered map of the entire area just look at that 
Behind me here is the famous giant wild goose pagoda, built during the Tang Dynasty and it originally had five stories. It was rebuilt in 704 during the reign of Empress Wu Zetian and its exterior brick facade was renovated during the Ming Dynasty. There is just people dressed in Hanfu, absolutely everywhere. You really do feel like you, you've gone back in time to one of the dynasties. The Ming Dynasty, the Qin Dynasty. I don't know how many times in this video I've, I've said dynasty, but it's, it's quite a lot. And over here we have a statue of Xuanzang, who was a 7th century Chinese Buddhist monk, scholar, traveler and translator. He is known for his contributions to Chinese Buddhism, the travel log of his journey to India and his efforts to bring over 657 Indian texts to China and his translations of some of these texts. And then right next to the pagoda there is just a huge shopping mall where you can come and shop until your credit card gets declined. Oh my god, look at this. Is that the uh, monkey from Western Journey? Oh my god, it's absolutely massive. The weather has now taken a turn for the worse. It is raining here and we have just arrived at the Xianxi Archaeological... Archaeological... Archaeology... Archaeology... Archaeologist... Archae... Ar archaeology anyway <laughs> we're at the museum and we're gonna we're gonna learn about Xi'an Xi'an sorry I can't talk we're gonna learn about Xi'an's history this place is just steeped in history and culture uh, and so now this museum has uh, lots of um, archaeological um, relics from multiple different dynasties from the Qin Dynasty, the Sui Dynasty, the Han Dynasty, uh, the Zhou Dynasty. You know, I just know all the dynasties. I'm a Chinese history expert. So let's stop messing about and let's get inside. That's me when I wake up in the morning and then gradually throughout the day I get slightly better and better and then I might just eventually make it to this one. <laughs> and over here we have two of the famous terracotta warriors um, constructed by the first emperor of the unified China, Qin Shi Huang. Um, and you can see on every single uh, warrior their face is different. It has a unique face. Here we have some uh, stone armor from the Qin Dynasty. Look at that. I've never, I've never actually seen a coat of armor made out of stone before. A lot of the exhibitions utilize digital technology to really enhance the entire experience, transporting you back thousands of years through Chinese history. I have now arrived at the World Internet Conference Digital Silk Road Development Forum. The forum here in Xi'an really embodies the spirit of the ancient Silk Road and promotes the co-building of this new digital Silk Road. The event will help bridge the digital gap among countries and regions involved in the Belt and Road Initiative and create a new platform for international economic cooperation promoting the building of a community with a shared future in the cyberspace sector. Now, obviously, they, uh, they wanted to get Han Ba Wang's signature here. So, right, let me just write here. Okay, this is the, uh, this is my actual real signature that I use on checks. So, don't be trying copying it. Uh, I'm trying to withdraw from my bank account. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Oh, she's here. There it is. That is my real signature on the wall there. Don't try and take out some kind of bank loan. 
Right now, I've just arrived at a grand opening ceremony. Uh, we're just heading in now. Take a look at this. Ceremony outside the city gate. You will be led to our first side of ceremony time. Oh, I don't know what's There's going on. Of you as I'm scared. Years. Please step forward and follow the trees of history, a great ancient capital and a dynasty. Our We're heading towards the gates. Wow, just look at this. I'm, we're right on, right on the front row. I've, I've transported back in time to the Tang Dynasty. Okay, we're now heading further inside. Uh, we're gonna go inside the gate now. Oh my god, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna hear from the, uh, from the general, I believe. He's gonna give us some orders. Oh no, he's just, he's just standing there. Right, let's, let's get, let's get up close to him. Let's get right under his nose. I'm a little bit scared he might just pull out his sword. I wonder if I could make him jump. <laughs> oh my god, his fist is clenched. <laughs> We're heading further inside now. Wow, they just don't, he doesn't even blink. It doesn't blink. <laughs> I'm now inside and uh, I believe we're about to watch a show. I am now in the airport. Unfortunately, that is the end of my journey here in Xi'an. And although I've been here about three times, I still haven't had a chance to visit the Terracotta Army. So I will definitely be coming back again. Anyway, that is the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Signing off, signing off.